So, what happens when a star dies? As the sun grows old, it will become smaller, brighter and hotter. In three billion years, it will be 40% brighter and so hot it will evaporate our oceans. In another two billion years, its core will collapse and it will expand to form a red giant. So massive, it will engulf the Earth. When this red giant sun finally dies, it will throw off most of its mass in a huge nebula of gas and dust. And all that will remain is a dense core, called a white dwarf, which will slowly cool over billions of years. However, not all stars behave like the sun. Other stars, called red dwarfs, use their fuel so economically that they may last for a trillion years or more. And at the other end of the spectrum, the biggest stars, hundreds of times bigger than the sun, burn their fuel very quickly. They live fast and die young. It's these bigger stars that produce the strangest results when they die. They literally go out with a bang, exploding in violent supernovas, amongst the most spectacular events in the universe. <sighs> Supernova explosions might be spectacular, but they could also be very dangerous for us humans. If one occurred within 25 light years of Earth, it would kill all life on the planet. The ozone layer would be destroyed, bathing us in lethal doses of radiation. Probably best to stay indoors if this happens. These supernova explosions can have two outcomes. Firstly, the material left behind can collapse to form a super-dense neutron star. A neutron star is only about the size of a city like London, but can weigh twice as much as our sun. But when the largest stars of all explode, the remaining neutron core is compressed in a fraction of a second into a singularity. This is infinitely small, smaller even than an atom, and its gravitational pull is so massive, nothing can escape from it, not even light. This is a stellar black hole. They are the strangest and most destructive forces in nature. Anything straying near a black hole will be sucked in and destroyed. <laughs>